Hello there! I filmed several seasonal videos in the past but didn't want to let another year go by without putting together a winter product family. I've actually never done one before. I usually follow the Northern Hemisphere with these uploads but I'm running a little late this year. The cold weather may be starting to ease up there but we're heading for autumn winter down here in Australia so I hope this gives you some dark and stormy colour inspiration to refer back to. My autumn makeup video last year had a brownie berry theme but this wintry edit focuses on even deeper, darker chocolate and blackberry tones. I think they particularly suit that crisp, chunky knit, long coat, cozy evening kind of weather. But if you're looking for berry makeup ideas any time of year, let's go. Starting at the beginning with some berry blushes. Colourpop recently launched their Cheek Dew Serum Blush, described as a lightweight, buildable liquid blush for a dewy rush of colour. The shade Beyond is called a Muted Deep Rose, that beautiful brownie berry look I love. The runny consistency reminds me of Glossier Cloud Paint, but these are much more sheer, subtle, thin and gel-like. Not as silky as the M Cosmetics serum blushes, but fun for about a third of the price. I have heard these can be tricky to layer over foundation, but as a tinted moisturiser fan who usually taps blush on with my fingertips, I haven't had any issues. Manasi 7 make fantastic multitasking pots called the All Over Colours. I've mentioned this brand before. The founder is a makeup artist who was born in India and grew up in Sweden, and she designs diverse colours that suit all skin tones. This shade, Kobicha, is called a universally flattering, intense brown with neutral undertones, like a bite out of a milk chocolate bar. Why not make it multitask and pat any excess from your cheeks onto your lips and eyes too? So many of these Trini London lip to cheek pots have been rolling around in my makeup bag lately. The soft creamy texture shears out across the cheeks so nicely and the shade range ticks all seasonal boxes. Munchkin is a really bold pigmented burgundy in the pot but it still looks even when you blend it out. A great just in from the cold kind of flush. Let me know if you've tried any of these Trini pots. A blush stick to finish. Mecca Max is one of the in-house brands at Mecca, Australia's biggest beauty retailer, and their off-duty blush sticks launched in mid-2020. Moody is one of the standout shades for me. It's certainly in the same family as Trini Munchkin above, but it's slightly more of a red berry, so some current kind of tones peek through. There are the four colours at fairly full strength, but let's shear them out for a better look at the way I'd wear them. A deep flush like an icy wind whipping your cheeks. More chocolatey raisin eyeshadow ideas here. Trini London is back, her creamy eye to eye pots popped up in my 2020 makeup favourites and the shade Desire is right at home here. Interestingly it's described as a shimmery crimson burgundy but the crimson and burgundy don't really come across to me. I count this as more of a smooth chocolate brown on my skin tone with a touch of shimmer in the light. A smudgy smoky eye solution. One of the Danessa Myricks Colour Fix Matte Tubes Brownie was an autumn pick for me last year but Root Beer is the one for winter time. This is in the matte group and this super pigmented paint-like formula certainly dries matte but the colour itself is slightly metallic. You definitely don't need to apply much of this really rich burgundy and the cranberry tones in it become more obvious as you shear it out. Colfi Beauty is an exciting new brand from New York that celebrates South Asian beauty and culture. The founder Priyanka didn't see herself represented in the corporate beauty world she worked in, so she set out to design playful products that tell her story and suit South Asian skin tones and undertones. The underlined Kajal eyeliner shade Purply Pataka took her a long time to perfect, but it's a fantastic, deep, metallic berry and a more cheeky choice than black liner. So smooth and easy to smudge out, but once it sets, it does not budge. One of my wintry palette picks is Huda Beauty's Rich Nude Obsessions. The Nude Obsessions concept comes in light and medium colour families too, but Rich is full of blush pink and jam and crimson and caramel powders. I always enjoy the texture of the shadows in these, they're so buttery. You can have fun with some one and done pink shadow looks, two upcoming video hints combined there, or smudge the deeper shades along the lash line like I mentioned in my recent Daphne Bridgerton makeup bag video. Hello Berry Lips! Berry Lip Balms are definitely on my list to feature one day, but let's watch some sheer, satin, glossy and matte bullets. Gucci Beauty's Sheer Range quickly became one of my all-time favourite sheer lipstick formulas a couple of years ago. They create such a wonderful wash of comfortable colour. Marguerite Jade looks like such a dark chocolate, but you can see that you can start it off as just a hint of tint or build it up to bring out more of the warm brown. 
Dior recently revamped their famous Rouge Dior bullets and they're now refillable. This is the Satin 434 Promenade shade. We're building up the colour gradient slowly here, so this is a wintry rosewood sort of tone. The beautiful Anya Taylor-Joy was wearing this shade when she won her Golden Globe earlier this month, and yes, she's already on my list to research for a possible celebrity makeup bag episode. I was bombarded with messages when Charlotte Tilbury launched her new lipstick gloss balm hybrid called Hyaluronic Happy Kiss. The colour Happy Berry was a nice fit here, but I have to say this formula is a little bit tricky to work with. It has a super smooth gel-like texture, but you can see it's so pigmented, like a more intense, slippier version of the Superstar Lips thin tubes I love. The round, flat bullet makes it pretty hard to be precise, so I prefer to dab or tap this on and shear it out with my fingers. Ready for a major matte moment? Celebrity makeup artist Patrick Tarr's matte suede lipstick in the shade She Must Be New is a really bold boysenberry. These two actresses always spring to mind when I think of deep wine lipsticks like this. Rooney Mara and Lily Collins wear this kind of colour so well with really minimal makeup elsewhere. Keep the skin fresh and the eyes bright and let this lipstick do the talking. Once your hair is safely tucked into a scarf out of the wind, it's time to break out the glosses. If you can't stand the feeling of hair getting stuck in your gloss though, I've snuck a lip stain into this category too because the colour is so beautiful. The Bitten Lip Tint shade Bizou by Victoria Beckham Beauty is described as a rich nude berry. The doe foot applicator gives you a bit of a purple preview, but it looks like a soft blackberry stain on the lips with a hint of brown too. A nice light texture that doesn't feel dry or tacky. Fit Glow Beauty is a brand I've enjoyed exploring this year after discovering them through my friend State of Kate and her channel. She says this lip colour serum is her all-time favourite lip product, and I'm going to borrow her description here because I've never tried anything like it. She says it's a gel-like, cushiony liquid lip balm that hugs your lips. I love this texture. It's so balmy, the vanilla scent is delicious, and the shade Root is a new favourite, Berry Brown. Another liquid balm possibility is the Rowan Beauty Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm. This was released shortly after the founder Nikki DeRoost left the company, so I'm not sure if she had any input in these, but they're lovely. A thinner feel than the Fit Glow serums, and they're a nice pick if you're particularly picky about your lip gloss not feeling sticky. The shade Scout looks like a burgundy in the tube, but it goes on as much more of a grape purple. Diving into the darkest shade. Chanel's Fall Winter Collection in 2019 drew on the black and white of their famous product packaging, and this Rouge Coco Gloss in Lac Noir is the deepest gloss I've ever seen. But bear with me, it's actually a very dark purple, so it gives the lips a really wintry eggplant or aubergine tint. I've linked some Joe Baker makeup looks below to inspire you, featuring Lucy Boynton and Vanessa Kirby and Naomi Scott. The latter included a sheer black Chanel balm, so that's the way I'd layer this sort of shade. I can't get enough of wine winter nails, so here's a snippet of some of the darkest shades I wear in the colder months. This Bordeaux Nicole Kidman in the Undoing style mani is Olive and June SC, one of my favourites from the brand. Another deep polish pick would be Essie Gel Couture in Model Clicks, an intense dark purple. Olive and June Obsessed was one of my obsessions from their winter collection last year. This one's much darker than SC. And the famous Chanel Rouge Noir, which translates as Red Black. This one is deliciously dark. Flashing back through the product groups to finish, we had Colourpop Beyond, Manasi 7 Kobicha, Trini London Munchkin, and Mecca Max Moody. The Eyes, Trini London Desire, Danessa Myrick's Root Beer, Kulfi Purply Pataka, and Huda Rich Nude Obsessions. The Lips, Gucci Marguerite Jade, Dior Promenade Satin, Charlotte Tilbury Happy Berry, and Patrick Tarr She Must Be New. And the glosses, Victoria Beckham Bizou, Fit Glow Root, Rowan Scout, and Chanel Lac Noir. I hope you enjoyed this rich mulberry and milk chocolate mood. Please let me know what sort of colours you're drawn to in the colder months, or if you're a berry blush, eggplant eyeshadow, plum pout person all year round. Already dreaming up my colour mood board for spring, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, see you next time.